most people have far less than $250,000 in the bank, and when your funds are in an FDIC-insured bank or a federally-backed credit union, your money is safe when you stay below those limits. Now, your bank could fail, and it might be an inconvenience, but you can avoid irrevocable losses when your funds are insured. For those with more cash, it's possible to have more than $250,000 insured in one bank. So joint accounts, IRAs, trusts, and other setups can potentially lead to additional protection. And you might have an insurance limit of $500,000 or even more at a single bank. The FDIC has a handy calculator that helps you figure out if your deposits are covered. So go to ED, that's E-D-I-E, Dot .fdic.gov and start researching. Of course, the output depends on the accuracy of what you enter, so triple check everything and ask your bank or the FDIC if you have any questions.